Hello friends, in today's video we will discuss in detail a very important topic called Vavil Plan 1945. From July 1941 to June 1943, Vavil was the commander-in-chief of the British Indian Army. And after that, in October 1943, Vavil replaced Lord Linlithgow as Viceroy of India. When Lord Vavil became the Viceroy of India, there were four major situations in India to tackle in front of him. The first situation was that the Quit India movement was going on under the leadership of Gandhiji. Apart from this, Jinnah was adamant about the demand of creating a separate state for Muslims, that is Pakistan, and a political deadlock had been created in India. And on the other hand, Subhas Chandra Bose had formed the Indian National Army and was preparing to attack India's eastern border with Japan. Apart from this, the fourth situation was that famine, that is starvation, had spread in Bengal, where Lord Vavil was engaged in controlling Bengal famine on one side and on the other hand, he was looking for a solution to end the deadlock of the Indian National Congress and the Muslim League. In this connection, he reached London in May 1945 with some of his suggestions. After reaching there, he held discussions with the Secretary of State, L.S. Emery, and prepared a plan of action. And finally, in June 1945, Lord Vavil announced his solution to break the Indian constitutional deadlock. This solution is called the Vavil Plan. In Vavil Plan, Lord Vavil had proposed to reconstitute Viceroy's Executive Council if all Indian political parties are ready to give their support to the British government in World War II. Now let's see what was proposed in Vavil Plan. Viceroy's Executive Council will be reconstituted and its number of members will be increased to 14. Hindus and Muslims will be given equal representation in this council. Apart from this, Sikh community and depressed classes will also get representation in this council. That is, in Viceroy's council, except Viceroy and Commander-in-Chief, all other members will be Indians. And because Commander-in-Chief is still going to remain British officer, it means that Defence of India will remain under British authority. Apart from this, in the Vavil plan, the Viceroy was also given veto power. That is, the power to override the decision of the Executive Council, although it was also said that the Viceroy would use this veto power very little. If seen here, a big concession was given to the Muslim community, considering that the Muslim population in United India was only 25%, yet they were given seats equal to Hindus. It was also said in the Vavil plan that if this plan approved for the central government, then a similar plan will be introduced for the provinces as well. Lord Vavil called a conference in Shimla on 25th June 1945 to discuss this plan with Indian leaders. Now because at that time all the Indian leaders were in jail due to quit India movement. So Lord Vavil first got all the political prisoners released from jail. In order to discuss the Vavil plan in a good peaceful atmosphere, Lord Vavil had invited 21 political leaders for Shimla conference, which included Mahatma Gandhi and Muhammad Ali Jinnah. But Shimla conference also failed because Vavil plan could not resolve the differences between Muslim League and Congress. Let us see in detail what the Muslim League and Congress did not like in the Vavil plan. The first kick was met by Jinnah in the Vavil plan. Jinnah demanded that the Muslim representatives who would be in the Viceroy's Executive Council would be nominated only and only by the Muslim League. There should be such provisions that Congress or other parties could not nominate Muslim candidates in the Executive Council of the Viceroy. For sure, it was not possible to accept this demand of Jinnah because Muslim League was not the only party where there were Muslim leaders. Congress also had Muslim leaders. So, Vavil plan was destroyed here only. And not only this, Jinnah also demanded veto power for Muslim League. In case any such constitutional provision which is not in the interest of the Muslim community, the Muslim League could use its veto power to prevent it from being passed. But this demand was also completely unreasonable because as we discussed earlier that the Muslim population was only 25% in the United India yet they were being given seats equal to Hindus so why they need extra veto power. Because of all these problems, the Vavil plan also failed. 
The notes of this video are available on bookstava.com website. You will find the link in the description. Videos are available on Bookstava channel on many topics of history. You can watch them too. In the playlist of modern history, you will find all the videos from the arrival of East in a company till the independence of India. If you like this video, then do not forget to press like button, share this video with your friends and subscribe to Bookstava channel to keep watching more such videos. Thank you so much for watching Bookstava.